Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the date of 14 days for today's fur video date. Um, we'll take us to the 10th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and Ishem Ensembles. But we'll try to go weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of June. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And we've also released the extended USA forecast as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos. And uh, thank you so much, everybody, um, for uh, doing that. A little bit of an announcement. We've got the Wednesday live streams coming back next week. Wednesday live streams will be returned. So this will be like the final um, 10 to 14 day video upload on a Wednesday for, for now. And uh, we'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 day from uh, around 6pm um, next week on Wednesdays. And that will carry on through the summer. And uh, maybe even right way to the winter. Who knows? Well, I'll wait and see. Um, right, just to say about the uh, charity event then. So uh, I thought would be like closed by now, but donations still coming in unbelievably for uh, Rainbow. Thank you so much, everybody, for all of the donations that you've given uh, uh, to um, the Just Give You page for at Rainbows Hospice. Rainbows are providing vital care for children, babies and young people, um, you know, with life limiting and terminal conditions. The work that they're doing is absolutely vital. And I thank you all so very, very much. This is Rainbow's website. You can find the link back in the description. Well, look at the total now. We have gone up to £1,803. The donations still coming in and uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing what we're doing here thank you so much everybody uh for for all of your kindness and all of your uh generosity too uh for rainbows every single penny is greatly appreciated by rainbows they are funded primarily from 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 donators you know from people donating money 80 percent of their funding comes that way just 20 percent comes from uh, the government and, and from National Health Service funds. So the work that they do is incredible. They provide vital care, as I say, for children, babies, young people with life limited terminal conditions at their hospice. They will also take the hospice into the home to look after children in the, in the home environment. But then going to hospice, hospitals, you know, and, and provide nurses one-on-one uh, -on -one there as well to look after these uh, very, very sick children. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of you. I'm going to keep plugging at it. I think to see when we can get to gate. I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. But as we are, you know, quite close to, 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 to 2,000 for um, the for rainbows, then, then I'll keep plugging at it for a little while longer, I think. Please give a donation if you can afford to do so. I appreciate time to touch, so if you can't afford to do so, then that's no problem. You know, you can you can help support rainbows in other ways by liking, sharing, subscribing, visiting their website, telling your friends and family about Rainbow, just spreading the message about the work that they are doing in the East Midlands area. And I thank you all so very, very much uh, for that. It's incredible. The Gals Worthies community is always amazing. Um, you know, uh, I, I, this is like the second or the third charity event that we've done. And the Gals Worthies community always comes through. Uh, and it's unbelievable. Thank you so much, everybody. Right, okay, let's start off searching touch. Remember, CT is uh, now at 12.5, which is 1.4, nearly one and a half degrees above. 61 to 99 average is provisional to yesterday, to the 30th of May. So I'm not going to change greatly from that, I don't think. So probably coming in around 12.5, I might tick up 12.6, something like that. But it'll be like mid 12s, I think. So quite a warm May, but not by any means the warmest that we have had, of course. Looks like warm weather is uh, set to go on as well. These are the GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next week's red light is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. We're starting off above average at the moment. The upper air temperature is generally staying above average through the first week and on into the second week of June. By mid-June, we might see those uh, upper air temperatures returning closer to normal but basically the next week to 10 days looking pretty warm and very dry over next week as well barely any 
measurable precipitation spikes. Well, having said that, it's been a little bit damp here at the towers uh, this morning. Very surprising about that. I wasn't expecting uh, to uh, open the curtains this morning and find that the ground was a bit damp. So <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit of a surprise. But generally, that's just like drizzle is coming off the North Sea with the low cloud that we've got at the moment. But generally, uh, it is a dry outlook for most of us over the next week or so. If we go beyond that into the second week of June, we might start to see things turning a little bit more unsettled there. Maybe a chance of a shower, possibly even like a, a thundery downpour, wouldn't rule that out. So, so dry for week one, perhaps a little bit more unsettled into the second week of uh, June. But then again, that's not particularly wet, to be honest, you know. For an extended range ensemble graph, that's that's not particularly wet. So even then, the likelihood is that there will continue to be quite a lot of dry weather, I think, even up to the middle part of the month. Temperature anomaly is from the 31st of May to the 8th of June. Actually, tell me a little bit below average for England and Wales, a little bit above average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Probably a surprise given the ensemble graph uh, there. I think what's going on with that is that, again, we're bringing lots of crowd with a position of high pressure, you know, for England and Wales, especially east and southeast of region, dragging lots of crowd from off the uh, North Sea. And so that is li going to be limiting the temperature potential. But better get at night. The night should still be relatively uh, warm with this. However, to the north and to the west, obviously, where we've got shelter from that cloud coming off the North Sea, that is where we realise that the uh, temperature potential, because the upper air temperatures are warm, so um, when, when the sun comes out, you know, we will realise that upper air temperature potential and, and have warm uh, conditions overall. Precipitation knowledge from the 31st May to the 8th of June, um, significantly drier than average through uh, much of northern and also western Europe as well. So, so very dry conditions go on with high pressure in control. Let's win from that from Earth North School. That uh, shows again we are bringing in that northeasterly wind today. If you follow the wind arrows around the ridge, so the centre of the high pressure, centre of the ridge is up here and then back into the Atlantic. But follow those arrows around and you can see how the air is coming in coming in, even, from off the uh, North Sea, and so that drags in all that cloud. We should start burning some of that off, I think, uh, in the second half of this week and into um, the weekend, hopefully. Right, OK, let's go through chart days. When Mrs. Havilles, you can make your road. It's looking for midnight on Saturday. High pressure all the way, high and dry. Sat over top of coach, West dry pipe. Condition continuing, and they carry on right way through into middle of next week as well. High pressure ruling the roost. Icon again, high pressure sitting through the country. Lots of dry, fine weather throughout the week and uh, on into next week as well. So, um, you know, there's not bit, nothing much to say really, is so, there? I mean, that's how we're, we're set up to start with, with high pressure more or less in that position. That's how we are like in a week from now. There's been very, very little change over the week. So the weather very much set there and dominated by high pressure again. Uh, the GFS midnight run, once more, with that high pressure just to the west of Scotland today. The high pressure still dominating the weather throughout the weekend into next week as well. It's high pressure all of the way. Um, that day can Saturday the 10th of June, the high pressure st still there, you know, through, through to our north and east. We're bringing more of an easterly flow in the south, so that's a little bit of a change, but basically it's the same setup we're in right now. And beyond that, we go uh, into that same range up to the middle part of July, maybe just uh, a hint, but it might start trying to turn a little bit more showery there as the height sort of weaken a little bit. But uh, that's how you end up with GFS Midnight Run, still with a ridge through the country, albeit the centre of the height gone up to Greenland, but it's still in, uh, still in a fundamentally high pressure dominated pattern. So lots of dry and fine weather continues with that one. The GFS 6F, again, with that high pressure in the ascendancy to the northwest of Scotland um, over the uh, next uh, week, so high pressure. Dominating a little bit of a change with the GFS 6 z by around days 8, 9, 10. Low pressure just starting to drift up from the south, from south, there, from the south and southwest, possibly bring a bit of thunder and some quite warm, maybe even locally very warm uh, air coming up from the south with that as well. That day can high pressure needs low pressure just to the west, southwest. That looks a little bit thundering, I have to say. It's uh, a little bit more unsettled, I think, compared to the midnight run. But not desperately so, and even with that high pressure remains, you know, the, the overall driving factor uh, right way up to mid-June. We get to 16th of June with this, still with a high pressure bridging 
Through the country, Keith Malow wants to bring unsettled weather, of course, in the Atlantic at bay up to that point. If you're enjoying the video, please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos? And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web is ask them to subscribe as well. We only need to put on around 40 subscribers now to get us down to 15.9k. So if you could give us a sub, uh, that would be amazing. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. And tell friends about Rainbow's Hospice, providing vital care for children, young people and babies in the East Midlands region with life-limiting and terminal conditions. GM, again, with high pressure, just to the northwest of Scotland on Saturday, brings lots of dry and fine weather with it through into next week. Again, high pressure... The main thing you sense, he just may be hinting at a bit of a fungi low start to try and ease up from the cell around day 9, 10. Long way off, though. And uh, then the ECM once more has that high pressure fully in control on Saturday and Sunday as well. Weekend will be dominated by high pressure. That high pressure continues to rule the roost into next week. Again, just by day 9, 10, a little bit of a, little bit of a hint of a change. That's wind turning a bit more into the northwest this time. So uh, there is a fungi layer around Biscay. That's being kept at bay as the high pressure moves out towards Greenland. And wind just perhaps coming in from more of a northerly direction. There is a cold front um, that's uh, involved with that as well. That's trying to uh, move its way southwards a little bit. This my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tobedshow.com. We'll wrap through this nice and quickly because there's not going to be <laughs> much precipitation to talk about over the next few days. So just a bit of a hint of some thunder into the far south by uh, day 10. That's the 10th of June. A bit of, bit of thunder coming into southern counties by them. That's because of this little thundery low around this game, I would have thought. Uh, right, this is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, gets us to the 10th of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles with a mid Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, low pressure in Scandinavia and near France and Biscay. Wings trying to push down from a cooler northerly direction. Of course, that fungi low is trying to move up from the south as well. It's probably a weather front uh, through there. All options, uh, go, you know, all, all, all the options go for that or some variation of that. Anyway, quite interesting. And then to its time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 15th of June. 16 members of the East Shelton Science Men have low pressure in the north of Scotland and high pressure in the North Atlantic. So that's a bit of a change. That's turning uh, rather cooler and more showery. 12 with uh, quite deep low pressure in over Scandinavia. A mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland. And winds coming in from a northerly direction with that as well. Uh, another 12 with low pressure just to the south-southwest. High pressure to the east northeast that will probably pull up the wing in quite a warm southerly direction and then 11 with high pressure right over top of coach and that keeps uh, weather set there mostly fine with those uh, options but the majority of options do involve low pressure some degree at two weeks out the 16 there the 12 here and the 12 there you know they're differing in placement of below but they do turn things a little bit more unsettled by middle of june with most of the um, our options today. So it's past signs of a change because it's two weeks away, so it is a long way off. CFS V2 finally, V5 and from middle of our height and knowledge breaking down into weak periods. The first week period takes us on the 31st of May, 6th of June, becoming week dominated by high pressure to our north and northwest. Wind coming in from uh, the east and north, beach, mostly dry and fine conditions. Hopefully, we'll break up some of the cloud in the uh, east um, over the next few days as well. Week 2 will be the 7th to the 13th of June, a mid Atlantic ridge then heading up towards Greenland with a trough of low in Oskandavia. Winds start moving in from more of a northerly direction, turning cooler and maybe a little bit more showery then. Uh, week three is going to be the 14th to 20th of June. High pressure is a way to the uh, east, mostly dry, fine conditions, and becoming warmer as well with winds coming up from like a southerly direction. We will have to watch out for the low pressure around here. Might threaten a bit of thunder, but basically that's still high pressure uh, and uh, and a lot of warm weather with that, or warm air. And then week four will be the 21st of June to the 27th with high pressure uh, to the east and the northeast, and that brings up the wind from like a southeasterly direction. So 
you know, potentially um, thinking a little bit of a thundery type situation. I don't want to go too over the top of it because there's no real sign of low pressure. But, of course, when we get to the reality with that, there's got to be some low pressure somewhere, hasn't there? So we've got a ridge here, a large ridge in Greenland into Europe, another ridge out of the Atlantic heading towards um, Canada. So, so where are the lows? The lows are probably going to be through here or maybe there. Um, so, you know, that's the kind of chart you would look at it and think there's going to be a lot of dry weather with that. There might be, but it could also be perhaps a little bit more showery, a little bit more unsettled, maybe a bit thundery in reality. It should be quite warm, though. The wind direction should be southerly, southeasterly at the very least. Anyway, it's four weeks away, so it's probably not worth worrying about. We're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, to hear about. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Don't get terrified about Gav's Gav Worthings. Thank you so much, everyone, um, for uh, doing that for us. And, um, and, yeah, it's amazing. It's incredible. Please check out Rainbows and uh, give them a donation on our Just Giving page if you'd like to do that. We thank you so much, everyone, for doing this. Just tell it's coming up tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. The European Outlook detailed look at weather for next week, 10 days across Europe. Tomorrow also, and there'll be a 10 to 14 day or two. Please keep checking back to the channel for all of our content. For this one, though, and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.